migrate your algorithm from Quantopian Hash. This document describes how you can transform your algorithm source built in Quantopian to PyLiveTrader. PyLiveTrader API is compatible with Zipline API, but there are some changes that require mechanical and manual process to move from Quantopian Zipline. Copy and paste hash. First thing first, you need to create a Python script. Go to your Quantopian algorithm page, copy the entire source code, paste and save it as a Python script. Here we name it algo.py as an example. Python 2 and 3 hash. The next thing you need to know is that Quantopian's environment, as of writing, is based on Python 2. Python 2 is ending its life by 2020. PyLiveTrader currently supports only Python 3, so you need to convert your Python 2 script for Python 3. While those two are not compatible, there are not so many differences. And the good news is that the Python community has been putting so much effort to make it easy to migrate from 2 to 3. In short, the 2 to 3 command will help here. You should have this program if you have installed Python 3. For more details of this script, you can read the official document. $2 to 3W algo.py Copy. This updates your Python script so it works with Python 3. Remember, you will have the original file as algo.py.back. Fix imports hash. PyLiveTrader is API compatible with Quantopian Zipline, but you still need to update your import statements so you import PyLiveTrader modules instead of Quantopian Zipline ones. Any imported modules starting from Quantopian will not work outside of the Quantopian environment. There are a couple of cases that need different solutions here. Algorithm API Hash This is the API under the Quantopian Algorithms or Zipline Algorithm Package. The package path should be replaced with PyLiveTrader Algorithm. All the Algorithm API is ported to PyLiveTrader, but some of the API, such as Futures Trading Specific API, will throw not supported exception. Pipeline API Hash this is the API under the Quantopian Pipeline or Zipline Pipeline package. PyLiveTrader does not provide direct replacement for Pipeline, but you can use Pipeline Live. You need to install this package separately as PyLiveTrader does not automatically include it. For more information, please read Pipeline Live's migration document. Under attach underscore pipeline and pipeline underscore output, PyLiveTrader uses the pipeline live package if it is installed, otherwise throws runtime error. Optimize API hash. This is the API under the Quantopian Optimize or Zipline Optimize package. Optimize API is not currently supported by PyLiveTrader. Anything else that starts with Quantopian hash. For those other APIs, you will have to change the code so it works as you intended. The good news is that there is no limitation or restriction in this PyLiveTrader, so you will probably be able to do what you can do. Zipline API Hash The other Zipline API is ported to PyLiveTrader as much as possible, and should cover most of the use cases. Some of the features such as commission model is no operation, since it is not applicable in the live trading environment, but they still exist for compatibility. Implicit imports hash. The Quantopian environment adds certain functions to the namespace when it loads the algorithm source code. In PyLiveTrader, your algorithm file has to explicitly import those by yourself. These auto functions are under PyLiveTrader.appy package. You can add this line to your algorithm source code. From pylivetrader.appy import asterisk. Copy. The implicitly imported APIs are the following. Order. Order underscore value. Order underscore percent. Order underscore target. Order underscore target underscore value. Order underscore target underscore percent. Cancel underscore order. Get underscore open underscore orders. Get underscore order. Continuous underscore future, unsupported in PyLiveTrader. Fetch underscore CSV, unsupported in PyLiveTrader. Get underscore date time. Get underscore environment, unsupported in PyLiveTrader. Log, need extra step. Record. Schedule underscore function. Set underscore symbol underscore lookup underscore date, no op in PyLiveTrader. 
Sid. Symbol. Symbols. Set underscore long underscore only. Set underscore max underscore order underscore count. Set underscore max underscore order underscore size. Set underscore max underscore position underscore size. Set underscore max underscore leverage W. The log object hash. Although this is not an imported module, Quantopian provides the log object in the algorithm. In PyLive Trader, you can create one by the following snippet. Import logbook. Log equals logbook, logger, algo. Copy. See more usages in the example algo script. Deal with restart hash. In the live trading environment, you possible need to restart the algorithm program during the day. For one, your program suddenly dies for some reason, and for another, you may want to intentionally suspend and resume it. Keep in mind that PyLive Trader persists the information you stored in context property on disk every time it runs scheduled functions. However, initialize and before underscore trading underscore start will be also triggered in the event of restart. It is often observed in Quantopian that an algorithm assumes initialize to be called only once for the life and before underscore trading underscore start to be called only once a day, which may not be true. Typically to deal with it, you may want to modify before underscore trading underscore start so that it checks the last time it ran. Def before underscore trading underscore start context data. Hash context dot ages to remember some age of positions. If not his solder, context age or not context dot age. Context dot age equals. Today equals get underscore date time floor 1D. Last underscore date equals get a TR context last underscore date none. Hash check if it ran today. If today equals last underscore date. Do actual work. Context last underscore date equals today. Copy. This ensures that actual work will be executed only once in a day with restart. And it is a good idea to not change context object in the initialize function but here in before underscore trading underscore start function. Checking and testing hash. Once you convert your algorithm code, you may want to check if there is no easy mistake at the literal level. This is optional, but we recommend using AutoPep8 and Flake8 which you can install via pip until there are some syntax errors or uninitialized variables etc. You are almost there, but remember, good software is always tested before deployed, and there is no difference in trading algorithm. At the moment, your option is to write a unit test using Unitist package and PyTest by yourself, but PyTrader will soon have a good support for it, too. It is also recommended to take advantage of paper trading account if your broker supports it. You should expect some issues such as network problem, API to return errors, orders not being filled for long. Paper trading will help you spot these issues by running your algorithm in live. Future plans hash. PyLive Trader is designed to run Quantopian zipline algorithm with minimum effort. The procedure explained here will be also automated as much as possible by PyLive Trader in the future. Also, as discussed above, the unit test helper class is also under development currently. Suggestions or questions. We're always happy to hear from you. You can contribute to these docs on GitHub or you can join our community forum or community Slack to get help from other community members and the Alpaca team. Please like, subscribe and comment down below.